Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Mary Bauer here. Just wanted to share with you guys some few tips on how to do meal planning. This is one way that we stay really healthy as a family and are able to stick to our budget because we're not buying foods that we um, <clears throat> know we shouldn't be eating and we're not eating out. So what I do is I sit down for like an hour every Friday night or Saturday and I plan out my dinners and meals for the next week. I've done two weeks before, but then I find out that the veggies and all that other kind of stuff that I'm buying end up going bad, so I like to go once a week. Um, when I do my meal planning, I always try to plan everything around my dinners. My breakfast and snacks end up being kind of the same thing every week, and I use my dinner's leftovers for lunch the next day. So for me, as far as staples that I keep in my kitchen, I keep staples for um, breakfast and snacks. So for us, Shakeology is our breakfast that when we're on the weekend maybe we save Shakeology for another meal of the day and we'll do like scrambled eggs over a piece of whole wheat toast with avocado and salsa. Maybe sometimes I'll use, um, I'll slice up a bell pepper and cut off a ring of it and fry an egg in it. Um, <clears throat> we'll do omelet sometimes. Sometimes we'll do steel cut oats or oatmeal that we put fresh blueberries in. Um, things like that are always on hand at our family. As far as snacks go, I like to keep fruits that are easy to grab and go, so bananas and apples, um, grapes, oranges, things like that. And then we always have mixed nuts, so um, raw mixed nuts that I make my own. So I take raw almonds and pepitas, sunflower seeds, all that kind of stuff. Um, we usually have a um, Faye Greek yogurt, which is just plain Greek yogurt that we mix in some fresh strawberries or grapes to sweeten it up. Um, things like that we always have on hand. And then as far as dinner plans go, this is where the bulk of my planning comes in. So I sit down every week and I say, okay, what are my cravings for the week? Is there anything that I've been wanting lately? Um, any soups or special dishes that I haven't had as a kid or even just recently? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to have that, but I'm not sure if I can find a healthy recipe. So I'll start with those. Um, I will go to Pinterest, I'll go to Google, and I'll type in the name of that recipe with clean eating attached to it. So clean eating lasagna recipe or or healthy um, chicken taco recipe, or healthy enchilada recipe, something like that. And as I'm looking through my meals, um, on Google if I do it, I like to skip down a couple links. I don't like to go for the magazine ones because I feel like they just don't taste as good as if it's somebody's personal blog that's tried the recipe. So I stick with those. Pinterest, I scroll through there. When I'm choosing a recipe to look at um, on Pinterest, I make sure that I'm finding one that's not like super cheesy, not like haha funny, but like has a lot of cheese if I'm doing something like chicken enchiladas. Um, and I'm watching for the ingredients just on the picture. When I go look at the picture or at the post, I look to see are all the ingredients whole food ingredients. So are they asking me to add in a packet of ranch dressing? Or are they asking me to add in a cream of mushroom can of soup? Or are they asking me to add in, I don't know, stuff like a cream of onion packet thing? Um, all those kind of things. If they're asking me to add those, these are not going to be a healthy recipe for you. Um, or if they're adding, you know, a bunch of croutons to it or a bunch of, you know, breadcrumbs, which you can make your own breadcrumbs. But things like that where they're not real whole natural foods, I try to stay away from that. So, and also when I'm looking at my recipes, this is huge. I'm looking to see how the portions of the different ingredients are. So with the 21 Day Fix, your container for vegetables is this big when your container for carbs is this big. And that should say something to you. That when you're looking for recipes, the green should be bigger than the yellow. Um, also, some things to think about, making sure that you have protein in your meals. That's also bigger than your yellow carb container. So it's not a bad thing to have, you know, your brown rice, your pasta, your starches that are counting as yellow, but they need to be a lower proportion in your meal than your reds and your greens. And I honestly, when I'm looking for recipes, I don't go looking for pasta or rice recipes. I feel like it's really easy to get in my um, <clears throat> yellow containers for the day. And it's really easy to add rice or noodles to a meal if you need that extra stuff. Um, so I just go look for ones that are high in protein and vegetables. And then I just kind of let the carbs fall into place. Or I'll add sweet potatoes to cover that at the end. So when I actually do my meal planning, um, another thing that I think about is what my schedule's like for the week. So if I know that we're going to be gone one day and we need a fast, easy meal on a Friday night or a Wednesday, I always try to do a crock pot recipe that week. Um, with crock pots, I try to look for healthy chicken crock pot or healthy beef crock pot recipes, something like that. 
Um, and I'm always looking to see, I know it's going to taste good if it has a lot of seasoning in it, um, or if they're using a can of salsa or something like that. Be careful to make sure that, again, what the ingredients are requesting. If they're requesting a can of Prego, that's going to be really processed, um, you know, pasta sauce. So be thinking about what those ingredients are asking. Um, other thing I like to do is balance out if I'm going to have chicken or ground turkey or beef or pork. I try to balance it out throughout the week so we're not always having the same thing. And then the last thing I do is make sure that I might want to double the recipe so that I have my leftovers for the next day for dinner. So then as far as grocery shopping goes and planning my meal plan, um, I'll make a list of all the meals I want to have for the week. I'll print off the recipes and I'll put them on my fridge so I have them ready to go. That's another reason that I'll forget to cook dinner is I'm like, oh, i got to go look up that recipe again. Print it off right then and there. Then I'll write down the, all the ingredients that I need for the week for that recipe. And then once I have my whole list of all that, then I'll transfer it to another list where I organize the ingredients um, by how they appear in the store. I do this to save time shopping and also because I only shop for the things that are on my ingredients list. If it's not on the list, I don't buy it. I'll also add a few other, like all the snacks and breakfast things that I need to my list or any supplies that I need. But I really try to stick to just the items on my list. Some other tips when you're grocery shopping, try to stay on the outskirts of the sides of the store. All the bad processed food stuff is usually in the middle. And really avoid all the displays when you first walk into the store. There's those cheap foods the store just wants to sell because they're super easy to make. The company can make them really fast and cheap. And they're usually not the best quality food for you. So hopefully that helps. Comment below with any other questions, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.